Before we even get started in the actual music of this, I just want to say I very much like the title of the song, Love Wins All. I think it's just it's a true statement. It just love wins in the end. So I, I genuinely I appreciate that. I think it's cool. Um, I am not familiar with I. Is it pronounced I U or U? Uh, I'm not familiar with it. Um, I actually came across it from the YouTube channel of a friend. So I'm looking forward to. Uh, I have I listened to like maybe 15 seconds. I was like, this is really cool. I want to film a video myself about this. So I'm looking forward to getting this. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Jacob Restituto. I'm a musician from Northport, New York, and I appreciate you being here. And then uh, if you're not new, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate you coming back even more. Let's see what we got. Let's get it right into this Love Wins All music video. Uh, it's like one of these movie music videos. I like that vintage look. The cinematography looks like a, it's like a real movie. The warmth around this of this piano is crazy. It sounds like we're entering into like the Twilight movie, just like with the the sonic scape of it. Very much so. Nice change up in that melody in the chord breath. Alright, before we get to the what I assume is the chorus, let's pause this really quick. Production's phenomenal. I love, love that warm piano. That's the full roundness of the piano. It's really interesting how instruments work in the sense that while we all can recognize certain instruments' timbres and they, they all kind of have similar timbres in, within the same instrument, for example, all pianos sound like a piano most of the time. But they all have slightly different tones, or what we would call timbres. Uh, and it's kind of like how as humans, you can you could hear the difference typically between a man's voice and a woman's voice, right? Two different instruments, say, right? But within the man's voice, every single man sounds different, right? It's kind of like the piano, where like every single piano will sound slightly different. And some will sound really bright and thin, some will sound like dark and warm, um, or dark, dark and, and full, or dark and thin. There's so many combinations, or or light and airy. There's com you know, countless. And, and different music requires different sounds, right? Um, Honky tonk style music, or like, you know, country style folk, often is like more of like a upright piano, very thin, almost like maybe a vintage sound, like it's like an old barroom piano, as opposed to like something like this, which is a bit more intimate and a bit more ethereal, uh, requires more of a warmer, fuller, e ethereal sound. Um, her voice sounds ridiculous, like really, really nice. I love like the airiness of it in the beginning. You can almost hear it like breaking, like the emotion be behind it. It's really cool. And the storytelling, the apocalyptic storytelling, um, always draws the, the 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 viewer in. I think just because it's like, you know, you're the last person in the world kind of concept. Uh, I don't know. I don't know why we can relate to that, even though none of us have really ever experienced it. It's just something that as humans we relate to. <laughs> One thing I want to say actually really quick is we're in a like three, four, six, eight swing, which is actually something very easy to dance with. It's typically done for like um, wedding songs and songs you want to dance to because it's easy to one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four. It's like a waltz. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Three. <laughs>
All right, the concept behind this video is crazy. First of all, how they, they pull up the camera and they see things, like, I guess the world that has it used to be, or memories, or, like, what they would want it to be. Also, how all these people came in and they're wearing masks. A very interesting concept, the, the hood, hooded masks. Um, really, really interesting. This blurry, dreamlike, drunk kind of idea. Um, you do it by taking uh, the, the uh, I believe, the shutter speed of the camera. So, for example, like... Filming at 30 frames per second, which means every second there's one picture being taken and video is essentially those pictures being played together really fast. Um, you would typically double the frame rate, which is, you know, how many frames per second to get the shutter speed. So if you're at 30 frames per second, you'd usually do 1 60th of a uh, uh, shutter speed. When you lower that and, and make it a smaller number, like 124 or 1 over, you know, whatever the case is under, um, it's essentially... I don't know, there's so much technicals behind it, but essentially it creates this very dreamlike, blurry image, as opposed to like a smoother natural image. The strings in here, the stereo-ness of the strings is beautiful. The fullness. What a great lyric. I'll slowly fill me with my eyes. Beautiful. Big reverb. Ooh, key change. I like that for a dramatic effect. It left space in there. Um, less space for the, the time. And, you know, I'm curious actually to hear the actual audio version if there was as much space or if they had just added that space for the music video. But it, like, it, it made you focus on the, the video for a minute. But it was a good amount of space in there before the key change actually came. That was really cool. Oh, and the battery dying, like all oh, of this, man. This was wildly done. Everything about this was really wildly done. From the cinematography to the storytelling to the music. I am blown away with you know, I, I don't I want I wanna check out the rest of Please help me pronounce. Is it IU? Is it U? EU? Uh, I'm not entirely sure, but regardless, ridiculous. I thoroughly enjoyed this.